Epic Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a freshly harvested cornfield located in southern Illinois, where a 715 engine horsepower Case IH 715 quad track tractor is working on fall tillage with a 22 and a half foot wide 11 shank Case IH 875 Ecolo Tiger disc ripper. The 715 is new for model year 2024, and it's the largest tractor ever produced by Case IH to date. I would like to share with you its specifications and capabilities, as well as taking viewers for a ride in the tractor's cab to visit with a farmer to find out what he likes about running this type of horsepower in his operation. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear this big tillage team at work. The 715 quad track was introduced by Case IH for model year 2024 in August of 2023 at the Farm Progress Show held in Decatur, Illinois. This machine is manufactured in Fargo, North Dakota and is powered by a 16 liter Case IH FPT Cursor two stage turbo 970 cubic inch six cylinder engine. Rated at 715 engine horsepower, this tractor can achieve up to 778 horsepower when it encounters tough field conditions. The 715 offers a peak torque of 2,400 pound-feet. It's fitted with a 520-gallon diesel fuel tank and carries 85 gallons of diesel emission fluid for clean engine solutions. It features an FPT 16 forward two reverse power shift transmission capable of running up to 26 and a half miles per hour. When customers order this quad track, they can choose to select an optional 1000 RPM PTO. They can also add a three point hitch capable of 22,500 pounds of lift capacity. The 715 is only manufactured as a quad track model. There is not a wheeled version of the tractor available. A new larger drive wheel allows for positive engagement of five lugs to handle the increased horsepower of the machine. The tracks for this model are 12 inches longer than the other five quad track tractors available from Case IH in model year 2024, ranging from 475 to 645 engine horsepower. Customers can order a 30 inch or 36 inch wide track for this machine. The new 360 degree light package available for model year 2024 Case IH Steiger and Quad Track tractors is quite impressive. Here we can see the 715 working in a 40 acre field lighting up the night. This tractor has a base weight of 66,000 pounds and can be field weighted up to 72,000 pounds. Case IH has not released a list price for the 715 quad track yet, but you can continue to watch for those details on CaseIH.com in 2024. I'm up in the cab of the 715 quad track and it has excellent visibility, very nicely laid out. You can see all the instrumentation is down to two screens. Uh, we've got all the de computer details here, and then you can see we're running about almost seven miles per hour, and everything's nicely placed there up on the post. Great view out the cab. The muffler is right there, but from the operator's seat, um, it is not a problem as far as the view. Got a nice two-stage mirror. And we can look out the back window here and see the 875 working very nicely. And 
Edward on auto steer, making a perfect 22 and a half foot pass across the field, and we're coming up here to the headland. And all the controls are right there on the joystick. The farmer just turns it around here. Nice, very nice tight turn with a big implement. And then with the push of a button, it's right back on auto steer for that next pass. So how do you uh, like this tractor? It's a big change from previous quad tracks. The AFS Connect is very nice. The auto steer is much more responsive. You don't have the magnum weave with it like you did the older series. They made the programs or the buttons programmable so you can select what you like, turn lights off on, radio, sync channels, volume, answer your phone over right here. You don't have to move to reach up and grab things. So usually everything is up there in that bank and it's still there. Right. But it's handy just to have it right there at your thumb. With the new 1200 screen, you can control your climate control from the from the armrest or the screen or up top as well. Makes it nice, easy adjustments. You can, they put a programmable button where you can bring up hydraulics instead of having to go through multiple pages. So right now it shows you're running 12.8 inches deep here, but you can actually adjust that on the go? Yes, with the new soil command, you can simple click of the button, you can adjust ripper shanks down to 13.8. It's an infinite adjustment there. You can bring up the disc and adjust how deep the disc gain's going just from the screen. You don't have to get out, move spacers, anything of that effect. It has three programmable presets so that you can set for different soil conditions or you can shut it off and run it like a manual tool if you like. Well, that's very handy, especially when you're in corn residue, uh, working in different conditions and different yields. As the 715 rolls across the field here, we can see that it's skipping a pass, leaving 22 and a half feet on chiseled at this point so I imagine that just helps saves on the turn it makes it go a little faster and yeah it's just like just trying to turn off it gives you shorter headlines you can make your turn easier and then when we get to the end we'll come back and catch the odd rows so how do you like the uh, 875 uh, a call time amazing job our plan is to come in with a, a finish tool in the spring hit it light and plant right into it that really seems to chop up the socks and bury the residue and Imagine when you're running 13 inches deep here, that's uh, breaking up a lot of compaction too. It's, so far seems to be doing an amazing job. So we're coming back up here on the, the corner and again, it's just got that nice smooth turn and we're right back on that next pass. So there are other things um, with this um, AFS Connect screen. You can actually, you've got cameras on there where you can see the um, the front and the back. Yes, you can have a split screen or I can click and pull it up to one main camera. You can watch your area. It's gonna tell you how many acres this tool's done. We have it reset the field. Um, you can go in. This is reset to this field. We've used 89 gallon of fuel out in this field so far to work 77 acres, which pretty comparable with idle time. The two gallon acre is not a fairly common average for the implement we're pulling. So do you find that you're covering more acres? Uh, you run a 470 quad track now. Do you find the horsepower on this is getting more done? Or? Yeah, going from a 470 quad with a 7 shank disc scraper to this, an 11 shank, you can couple, cover about double the acres in the same time. Well, that's pretty good because it's definitely a big investment to jump up into a tractor like this. So it's always good to get more done before the fall weather sets in and, or winter weather and keeps you out of the field. The, our biggest issue is labor. So if we can eliminate two people down to one, that helps a lot. 
contractors don't call in sick. That's right. Hopefully not. Sometimes they're a little frustrating, but a big new one like this definitely would be ready to go. And they uh, they definitely have a lot of serviceability out here with this. This is very easy to operate the hood. It goes up and down. And uh, you also have the, uh, the step that is easy access. It kind of lets you walk up at an angle, and then it goes over up to the side to right, go away. Right, and which with the quad tracks, they, the steps hinge with you while you turn, so it doesn't matter what angle you stop the tractor at, it's always the same easy access. Any other big change or things that you've, that you've liked with this uh, besides the, the power and the technology? Or? The, when they went to the AFS Connect, what, two years ago, they done away with the bar for monitor mark, mark right. and put this rail in and put one here as well, so it makes it much easier installing monitors, and they gave you charge power points right there so you don't have to bring your cable all the way down. They've caught on, got a factory RAM mount right here phone mounts extra but it's got the USB port everything so that you don't have cables run everywhere. Oh that's that's very nice a lot better than my 1981 international 4796 all the hydraulic levers are behind your seat and it's a stick you know on the floor so hope you don't come getting out right they've come a long way. Uh, well thank you for letting me ride along and uh, see this tractor being demonstrated for HR Agripower Definitely impressive ride. Thank you. enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this Case IH 715 quad track tractor working on fall tillage. I would like to hear in the comment section below this video what your all-time favorite big tractor is or tell me about the largest tractor that is working on your farm currently. If you have appreciated this content, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content featuring big tractors at work, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.